All right, so they have like this foreign store here. inside Kyoto Station. They have this in Osaka too, but not as small. This one's smaller. Alright, so we're in like the uh, the first floor and there's all types of food here. There's a lot of good food here because it's such a major station. Oh, that looks good. Whoa. Chinese food? We got a lot of food here. Curry. Pasta Cafe Oh That looks good It's going, probably going to be expensive though hard time choosing really good green tea oh and cheesecake that looks really good actually got another store grocery store in there so if you didn't know Kyoto is known for their green tea so they have a lot of green tea products so if you're ever in, uh, if you're ever in Kyoto I highly suggest you buy Green tea. All right, the Starbucks is packed. This station is like a small airport. I think this is bigger than uh, the the small airport near my hometown in Chicago. Spicy Masada Curry Shop. A lot of green tea stuff in there. The Cube. Whoa, it's like a full out grocery store. But not really. It's got a lot of goods. Cakes. Snacks. There it is. 
Which way do we go? We'll go that way. Are you sure? Did we go this way? Oh. We're gonna stop by the mall because my girlfriend wants to get some lipstick, so we're gonna stop by the mall inside of Kyoto Station. All right, so we're in here, the inside of the mall. It's really Christmassy. It's real Christmassy, but you don't feel like it's Christmassy. Let's check downstairs. All the expensive stuff is uh, on the basement floor. Fake. Yeah, all the high-end stuff is uh, downstairs. Dolce & Gabbana. Bottega Veneta. Prada. Fendi. It's gonna be a lot more expensive here too, Celine. All right, so I'm in the this is a B2, and I've never actually been down here. There's one more basement floor, ah, B1. Whoa! It's just a lot of snacks. Seasonal snacks. Some more green tea. Like this set right here is about $35. This place would be the best place if you were to um, buy some gifts, if you were to visit here and then want to bring some gifts back home. So they have all these packaged goods here. So a lot of these packaged goods are uh, good for people who just travel here. So some, maybe someone from Tokyo comes here and then they buy these uh, snacks. Oh, this one's like $100. You can get food too. They have restaurants down here too. But yeah, you can buy some of these um, packaged snacks and uh, give it as gifts. This one's $60. That one's probably really special. It's like a mochi wrapped with something. It's thirty dollars. Have a restaurant back here.
Wow, I've never been down here. It's pretty massive. It's huge. So there's a lot of seasonal things like uh, chestnuts and um, just autumn, autumn type of food. Let's check B2. Alright, I've never been this deep downstairs, but this is B2. And it looks like a full-on um, grocery store. I've never seen potatoes this big. Wow, sweet potatoes. This place is so big. All the fish is gone right now. Let's see if they have anything. Yeah, just a regular... Look at these fish eggs. $15, $10, $5. Just a normal, regular grocery food stuff. Yeah, I think because it's starting to close, they don't have that many um, stuff left. I think they're getting everything. They're getting rid of everything. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it seems pretty dead right now. It's Saturday night. I think it's almost closing time. They got all the good meat over here. hundred gram of that is ten dollars which is not a lot oh wow now they have restaurants here Oh, this is what I smelled. It smelled like curry before. This looks really good. Wow. That looks really delicious. I never knew this was here. There's more here. Looks like an old diner. Oh. Uh, red bean oh that looks good that's probably really good they got the what is that is it sweet potato oh. and there's uh ah it connects downstairs okay Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of, um, not that many uh, food left because I think it's closing. Oh, those look really good. Yeah, I think they're closing soon. 